This might not be the best VR game ever made, that'll be my next video, but just look at this. If you're anything like me, then you extensively research VR games before you buy them. So many VR games feel like low-quality mobile games that you want to make sure your money is well spent, especially after you've already spent who knows how much on the headset itself. So if you're tired of underwhelming VR games, you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Virtual Bro, and I am always looking for the best VR games that are actually worth your time. This week's game is called Fuji, and it's available on the Quest platform as well as PC VR. Fuji is unique for a VR game in the sense that it doesn't really feel like a game. And that's actually a good thing. You see, Fuji as an experience has a very specific goal. It is virtual escapism at its finest. The lack of any text HUD or menu systems hints at this larger goal. And this is what brings it all home. The amount of unique, immersive, and tangible interactions that this game provides is amazing. It's like living in the world of a baby sensory video, with its brilliantly colorful animations and audio design. I have never felt something like this in virtual reality before. I couldn't help but giggling like a child at the first time I hit one of these. Okay, okay, but I hear you asking, what do you even do in this game? Well, I'll tell you some, but not everything. I had not heard anything about this game before trying it. I tried looking up gameplay on YouTube, but it really didn't give me the idea of what this game was. So I did something very unusual for me. I bought it and went in blind. And I am so glad that I did, because the best way to describe this type of game is Journey in VR. Similar to Journey, the game tells you nothing. It teaches you how to move, which sadly is only through teleportation, likely due to the fact that this game came out years ago when everyone was still getting motion sick, but then it explains nothing else. You are dropped into this beautiful world to discover everything on your own, and soon you pick up some strange seed-like objects, and before you know it, you're planting your very own garden, full of plants that are beautiful and comforting, yet unlike anything you've ever seen. I'm being super vague on purpose, by the way. T to explain the mechanics of this game would be to simplify the experience to its most basic aspects. This game is so much more than just the sum of its parts. It really does feel like visiting another world. Some VR games immerse you by forcing you to worry about things that take your attention away from how bad the graphics are or how uncomfortable your head strap is. Of course, you can mostly fix this by upgrading your head strap and facial interface. I'll have referral links to the products I recommend and in the description, but I do believe that's a big big reason as to why horror games are so popular in VR. There's simply not much time to nitpick or let your mind wander when you're running for your life. But Fuji does something else. It uses every available resource to keep you engaged, but not out of fear or panic, of course. Instead, your awe and wonder of the world draw you in. Finding new plants, exploring new areas, it's beautiful to be blissfully unaware of how deep this game goes. So that's what I won't tell you. Sure, it might not last you months or even weeks like other content-heavy VR games, but if you ever need somewhere to de-stress or escape for a while, this is it. And, just like the previous game I talked about on the channel, link to that video in the description, it's cheap. To me, the game is absolutely worth the price of entry, and if you're early enough in this video, I'll have a 25% off code in the description for the first person who gets it. That's all I'll say about this game, I highly recommend you try it for yourself, and let me know what you think of it in the comments. For more VR recommendations, subscribe. I'm Virtual Bro, and thanks for watching.